Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm gonna finally do a tutorial that someone has requested very long ago. Um, and this tutorial will be designing uh, Lego tanks, and this can also be used for planes or ships or any other kind of object. It's not exclusive to tanks, I just did that for a uh, clickbait title. Um, so yeah, you're going to need three things for this. Number one, you're going to need uh, stud.io and there will be downloads in the description or whatever, download links. And number two, you will need the part designer that also goes along with the stud.io designer. And number three, you will need a, uh, like an image file of a blueprint of the vehicle or object you want to design. Um, however, it has to be in .png format. That is very important, .png format. So anyways, um, let's just get right to the tutorial. So here we are on Google Images, and I have my file open where I'm going to put the image. Um, so I want to, I want to, let's say I want to design like an M26 Pershing. So, you know, let's look up M26 Pershing Blueprints. You know, that's like the tank I want to make. So, you know, we're on Google Images. Here's all the blueprints. They look pretty nice. You want to choose one that kind of clearly shows everything, I guess, for a lack of a better way to describe it. Um, I want one that's relatively high quality. Um, how about this one? So now uh, you save the image as, and this is very important. This is a very important step. Usually images are like in different uh, formats when you download them, like this one's in JPEG, as you can see. Um, but in order to convert it to .png, which is the only uh, image format uh, the part designer will accept, you need to save as all files, and then you need to do .png at the end. And then you hit save. And actually, uh, let's keep that. And now as you can see here on the uh, folder, it says type PNG file. So this is this is a PNG image, which is very good. You know how you you know that you've done it correctly. Now you want to go and open up uh, stud.io. Open stud.io, um, just you know, create a new project. So here we go, new project. Now before you start making your model you got to get the blueprints and this is this is the really cool way on how to insert blueprints into stud.io which which allows you to to easily create the model like in real time i don't know how to describe that but yeah so in order to get your blueprint into stud.io you go to tool click part designer hit yes um and just you know, make sure you have this downloaded, the part designer, because it is a separate program to Studio. Um, yeah, so I would like to update. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the part designer update here. All right, so we're gonna create a new brick. Uh, we're gonna start from scratch here. Gonna make this full screen. So part designer is pretty similar to normal Studio. However, you're working with parts. So in order, the best way to get the blueprint or to make the blueprint is to select brick then select tile create one by one tile next we go to select click on select and then this is where we have to go back to our uh, Google tab alright so now this is where we have to use our big brain so you go back to your Google tab and you search up the vehicle or object that you want to create you search the dimensions. So here I search the M26 Pershing dimensions. Um, the width is 3.3.51 meters. So I go to this website. It's called Lego Unit Converter. You can just look it up. We're gonna build in 135th scale because that's how I like to build. Um, and it said 3.51 meters for the width. So. 3.51 meters and then it pump, uh, pumps out a value uh, a conversion of uh, into 135th so this is in, in normal uh, length it is 438.75 studs that's in real life but in 135th it is 12 and a half studs 
So that's very, very important. All right, so once you have your uh, dimension, like your width converted into uh, studs or length or albeit, um, now you want to go to the bottom right here. You want to type in the width or the length, and the width is 12.5 studs for the Pershing. So this is how wide it should be. And then you want to make it in you know, the length to be anything really, doesn't matter. Next, you go to decal, and it will take you to your folder where you downloaded your blueprint. And this is why we saved it in .png, because this only takes .png uh, images. So now you want to double click on your blueprint. Next, you want to place it down. And then next, you want to hold down left shift, and you want to drag. And you want to resize it here. Holding down left shift is important because it keeps the blueprints proportional. Um, and now we want to line up here the, the width. All right, so now you can see here, I have the width of the tank uh, roughly uh, with the width of the piece here. Um, the decal or the image is overlaid on top. And once you have that, you want to click on the image. Then you want to click the check mark, which will apply the image to the part. And then, as you can see, we have uh, a blueprint, and you could say, of the front of the Pershing. And you can also do this, you know, for the side and the top and the rear and stuff. All right, so now, once you have your blueprint applied to your parts, you want to click on the uh, part. Then you want to click on File, click on Export As, click Export to Studio. Then you want to rename it like as M26 Pershing Front or something that can describe the blueprints. And then you want to click export. And so what this is doing, what this is doing is exporting the parts to stud.io so you can actually see it or bring it into the program. And then you hit OK. And then we can go back to studio. And then you want to click on the master on the top here click on custom parts and uh, you'll see right here it's gonna be loading okay so once your uh, blueprint loads in here you can just drag it out as a normal part and you can see we'll just go back to master here you can see we have a blueprint in stud.io so what this basically is, it's just a one by one tile that has been heavily modified with a decal pasted onto it. Um, so yeah, once you have the uh, blueprint in here, you know, you can take bricks, you know, you can, you can like line it up like this and you can just look at it like that from a certain viewpoint and you can just get this, uh, you know, accurate and proportional. Go here. So the Pershing's kind of like, if you're just looking at the front armor, it's kind of like uh, seven wide actually. Yeah, it's like seven studs wide. And what this allows you to do is to have a very, very accurate design. Um, so yeah. All right. So now that the tutorial's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you uh, some projects I've I've used. I've used this on. So this is the BI, the Berzniak or Isniak, whatever, the Russian rocket interceptor. And as you can see here, I used uh, blueprints to design this in 1 35th scale. And I think it came out really, really good. Um, this is like the initial design. And then here's like, uh, here's it with camouflage. And then here's it again. Um, and yeah, so, you know, I designed this, not sure if I'm going to build it in real life, but this is one of the projects I've used. And going to my Spitfire I made recently, and I have a review on that, by the way, on my channel, so please go check it out. Uh, I also use the blueprint method for this. So I literally had it, like, right on top, and I designed it very closely to the, uh, the actual wing shape. And yeah, I just constantly have the blueprints right there. And you know, over here you can see how I have the side. I was designing the side. And then over here I was uh, doing the wing, or I redesigned the wing. 
So yeah, this is this was a whole design process, but it was really fun, and, and the and the blueprint made it really easy and straightforward to do. And you know, I think if if you do this, if you make your own blue, blueprint, you can literally design like a god. Like it just makes it so easy. In, in the past, I would actually print out the blueprint, but but now I just do this because it you don't have to print out and. You can just be much more accurate in my in my opinion. Um, so yeah, anyways, that was this tutorial for how to design Lego tanks like a god. Um, and yeah, now it's just up to you. You just choose whatever you want to design and you save the uh, blueprint as .png and then you make a, a custom part with part designer and then you take, take the custom part into stud.io and then you can just design whatever you want so anyways i hope you guys really enjoyed this video this was quick and dirty i made this in like 20 minutes or something or recorded this in like 20 minutes um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you another day